Hey folks, I'm Kristen for Guns.com, and if you've followed me for any time at all, you know that I love lever actions. So there's a reason there's a big smile on my face when I have a table full of beautiful lever action rifles in front of me on a gorgeous Midwest day. And right now we're talking to you in a world where marlins are not currently produced, but what we have here are three fine marlins. And what I want to talk about is a marlin for all seasons. With these three rifles, you can hunt any North American game. And they may not be your choices, but they are mine. And here's what I have. Starting right at the top with probably one of the best rimfire rifles ever produced in America, and in fact a lever action, the Marlin Model 39A. The 39 is an awesome rifle, and one that I unfortunately can't afford, but I can afford a 39A. This is a fantastic lever action, tubular magazine repeater. It's got the takedown screw, takedown model. You can mount a scope, you can use the iron sights. It runs flawlessly even now. This is an almost 75 year old rifle and it runs like brand new. While so many modern shooters are pining for the latest target rifle, the bolt action, the long range stuff, the semi-auto rim fires, here we are with an old classic. And that 39A all American made is just a joy to have on the range and in your collection. And I'll tell you what, this can be a 75 year old gun and it still runs like the day it was made. I don't want to be a squirrel or a rabbit on the receiving end of this one or one of the tin cans that probably sat on fence posts and were plinked by this guy. It brings back the days of nostalgia and you can have those days again when you get one of those old original Marlins. They're great made guns, and we can see why they had such a reputation for American excellence. If you want to hunt small game like rabbits and squirrels, or even things as big as fox, or even a closer range coyote, that 22 long rifle is going to get it done, and it's going to be a great companion for you in the woods, and a great ranch or barn gun as well. It has been for over 100 years, and it continues to this day. If you're looking for a little bit bigger game, maybe you're thinking about hogs, deer, antelope, something smaller, the logical choice, if you were guessing, you would probably say the Marlin Model 336 in a 3030 or a 35 Remington. And for most of the folks out there, you'd be correct. But my choice in this case is one of my favorite Marlins, and that's the old square bolt design model of 1894. Folks will recognize these as great companions to revolvers because they were chambered in a lot of the handgun calibers. The one I have here from the guns.com vault is a 44 Magnum. You can shoot 44 Special. You could get it in the 38 Special 357 Magnum, or you could get it in a 45 Colt. And aficionados of Marlins will know that you could also get the 4440s, the 2520s, the 3220s, and lots of other, those old throwback Western calibers. This has the Marlins Micro Groove Rifling, which was their advancement to try to offer greater accuracy in the field. Granted, if you want to reach out to deer maybe at the 200 yard range, you probably are better suited with the 3030 and a Model 336, but for what I'm thinking, as a nice kind of medium range American rifle, this 44 mag is going to reach out and take whitetail deer to 100 yards with no problem. You practice good shot placement. You can mount a scope with the tap, drilled and tapped receiver if you want, or you can just go with the iron sights, which is what we're doing on the range here today. And that 44 mag in a hunting load, it's low recoiling, but it's going to give you plenty of knockdown power in the field to get it done on those medium sized North American game animals. What's another reason that I choose the 1894 over the 336 is because sometimes you just want to pack one ammunition for your handgun and your rifle. I've got a beautiful Smith & Wesson chambered in 44 Magnum. I can grab that gun, that ammo, and this rifle, that 1894 and 44 Mag, and I have got one heck of a combination for whatever kind of hunting I care to do. Whether it's self-protection when I'm out in the backcountry, or I'm out hunting deer, bear, or hogs, that combination is going to get it done for me. This beauty from the guns.com vault has some honest wear for its age, but it still has that gold trigger. It's got that nice blue finish, some really nice figure here in the forend. We've got that tubular magazine, and this is one of the last of the square bolt designs that Marlin made. We are drilled and tapped so we can add a scope. We're going to go with the iron sights and just have some fun plinking with the 44 mag and 44 special. We're loaded up now with some 44 mags. Let's roll. You'll see there, low recoil, 
but plenty of capability on deer sized targets, which is what we'd be doing with this 44 mag. We've got the 22 long rifle rim fire, we've got the 44 mag, but sometimes when you're hunting big and dangerous North American game, you need a thumper. And if that's what you want, there's few better than Marlin's model of 1895. This is a less traditional looking one. You see here that blued steel and the American walnut on the other guns. This is all blacked out. There is walnut under there, just with that nice black spider webbing and matte finish. But this is the quintessential 4570 model 1895. This one's a little more tactical looking, but I tell you what, the short barrel, that threaded barrel, the ghost ring sights, the scope I have on here, and the large lever, this is one wicked combination that will take any large or dangerous North American game or game around the world. I'm always looking for a reason to use the 4570 government because darn it, I really like that round. Sure, there's some recoil, but I tell you what, it's a very manageable, more of a push than a sharp recoil, and it's just fun to shoot. I took a 4570 to Africa and bagged Cape Buffalo and Crocodile, and I tell you what, I would have no problem taking this Marlin 1895 anywhere in North America, Alaska, out west, wherever, and going after big game. You choose the right bullet and the right load, and this thing will get the job done. My first shot, I'm cutting just high above the bullseye. Darn that loophole glass is clear. Ooh, I'm touching that first round. I can see it clearly at 100 yards with this scope, and I'm feeling darn good about that group. That is a pretty darn nice three shot group for a 16 and a quarter inch barrel 4570. We're shooting Federal Hammer down here at 100 yards. You'll see this group with the little squares here. We're measuring just outside of an inch. Now 4570 with a 16 and a quarter inch barrel shooting darn near minute of angle is some pretty good shooting in a good rifle. It's more the rifle than it is me. And even if that group opens up a little bit with the other rounds of ammo, which Honestly, they're shooting very well with the Barnes Vortex and also with the Hornady Lever Revolution. I would take any of those hunting any day of the week and be very confident that I can put that round where it needs to go with that Marlin Dark. So check that baby out. The lever-driven action is America's unique introduction to the firearms world, and that's one of the reasons that I love it so much and why I love American-made rifles in general. We're talking about Marlin today as we sit on the verge of Ruger announcing what new Marlins they'll start to produce again. It's all speculation at this point. But when we're out here and we have this group of three rifles that can hunt anything in North America, we can sure hope for a new 39 or 39A, an 1894, and of course, an 1895. What would you like to see coming from Ruger and Marlin? Let us know in the comments. Give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this coming your way on new and classic guns. I'm so glad you joined me on the range today, and I can't wait to see you next time.